Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Yes, yes, yes. Looky there. Tempest Knives, the pinions have arrived. And yes, I did say pinions because, as you guys know, through the pre-order, you could order one of the three or he was doing a three-pack. And of course, I'm going to support my friend Casey. And yes, I went with the three-pack. Will I keep all three? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. But I am just super, super happy to have these because, well, as you guys know, you know, he started with the Mach 51. Gorgeous knife. I love this knife. The Kickstarter didn't go as well as hoped, but he stuck with it and the pinions have arrived. So we're going to get into it. And of course, I mean, come on, I got to use the Mach 51. To open the box, it's just got to be. So what do we have here? Well, as you know, there was a black micarta, there was a blue G10, and a black G10. Oh, it's taped on the side too. KC, you got me. Now you guys know, if you guys got in on the pre-order, uh, you should be getting these anytime. KC got them boxed up. They got them sent out. And shout out to Freak Show, Miss Freak Show, and Gorilla. Oh, doggone it. I believe it was. Yes. All... Nice. They went up, helped KC Q they helped KC QC and box up all the knives, which that's just awesome. Very, very cool. There we go. Ooh, where's it at? There it is. So just the community, you know, helping out a member, you know, it's just awesome. It's just awesome. So what do we have? We have three knives. We're gonna look at well, let's just look at the blue G10 first. Since that's the one we picked, that's the one we're going to look at. What do we have here? Okay, we have a thank you hide. Thank you what? Thank you card. That's what it is. There you go. Casey, owner, operator. Very cool. Oh, stickers. We got stickers. Yes, Tempest Knives. Very cool. And all right, number one, the Blue G10. Man, Casey, am I ever going to scrutinize these? Trust me, <laughs> that's already been done. I can guarantee you. If I know Casey, that's been done. There it is in its glory. The blue G10 pinion. Everything. Oh, that feels good. Very, very nice. Now, Kubi was the OEM for these. Wire clip. And as you guys know, the uh, wire uh, lynch clips. Do work the lynch replacement clips. It's got the wire back here and then a full clip. They work just fine. I've seen pictures of it. All right, here's the test. Oh, yeah, that was nice. The drop. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one is dialed in very, very nicely. We'll just take a look. Look at that blade. Very, very nice. There you go. It says right there, 14C. Nice stone wash on that. I like that stone washed finish. That looks really, really good. Now, now come on. I mean, there's going to be some similarities. KC has a design uh, aesthetic, of course. And absolutely, there are some similarities. Not a lot. I know. The cockpit. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, KC. Had to do it. But... <laughs> Yes, and you have, that's the signature that I really like. The five-spoke wheel on the pivot. That's just, yeah, I like that. It's done very, very well. Stands out nicely. I like that. Very cool. And the action, golly, that's a dropper, man. Detent is pretty darn good. Now, if you're not a reverse flicker, you can definitely thumb flick it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, stoked. I'm going to set that one off to the side for just a minute. And we're going to bring this one in, which is, what do we got here? We have Black Micarta. Again, we got all this stuff. I got an extra sticker in my blue one. <laughs> I, guys, I am. I'm very, very excited for Casey. I, I really, really am. I'm so happy to see that these have gone through for him very oh yeah black micarta 
Nice. Now, it's not overly aggressive, but it's aggressive enough. Like that. Again, feels really nice. My Carta Backspacer. Wire clip. 14C blade again. Yep. Nice stonewashed finish without blinding everyone. Nice. Very, very cool. Good access to the lock bar, of course. Nice drop. Yeah, that detent styled in as well. Very nice. Love the blade shape. And yes, yes, comfortable. Very comfortable. Now, he didn't make a lot of major changes, you know, from the time we had the prototypes. And, oh, yeah, that feels really good in hand, man. Golly. Digging it. All right. Now, of course, last but not least, we should have black G10, which we do. And more stickers. More happiness. I got an extra sticker. I'm going to be saying that all the time. I bet he did that on purpose. Maybe not. He might not have, but I, mm, yeah, I've had one. I have one on the work locker. I already got a Tempest Knives sticker on the work locker. And there you go, black G10. Nice. Got a little contour on there. Very good. Casey likes those contoured scales. Again, G10 backspacer wire clip i mean this is the same as a blue one it's just black and here we go Let me try that again make sure that was just me yep just me not oh did that sing a little bit i thought that last one had a little bit of a sing to it it does it's got a little bit of a sing to it when it comes open nice all right again 14c stonewash blade yes Yes, yes. Ah, I'm so excited for you, man. So, so happy for Casey and what he was able to accomplish with the pinion. I mean, trust me, Casey and I have had long conversations about, you know, the Mach 51 and where it didn't go. And, you know, he was like, man, he was pretty bummed and I don't blame him. But, dude, you came back strong, buddy. Came back strong. Yes, indeed, and we now have the pinion. And from what I understand, there may be another one in the works already. So, who knows? It's a rumor. It's a rumor. You know how rumors are. Look at that. We're going to put that right up there. Gah, Casey, I'm so happy for you. Very, very excited. Very cool. Now, let's talk a little bit about uh, the full release of the pinion well as you know um the pre-order these were 85 well the micarta was 85 and the g10 were 75 now throughout this whole thing kc said when he stopped the pre-order um the price was going to go up a little bit uh last time i think i talked to him he said he was hoping to keep them in that five to seven dollar range so that would make the micarta right at about 90 if that's it we'll say 90 ish and then the G10s are going to be about 80-ish. And I can tell you what, guys, um, that's a pretty fair price from what I'm seeing so far. Uh, first glance, first look, and from the prototype, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. For 14C, one of my favorite steals, my Carta. Then, of course, you got the G10. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, when is it going to release? And you know what? I messaged KC on my way home from work tonight and i was like oh release price just to check mm. he didn't answer me he's probably in bed because uh, it's after midnight god it's almost one there so i'm sure he's probably in bed but that's kind of what he's been saying so you know i'll stick with that that five to seven dollar you know increase so it'll be 90 or 80 depending on my carter or g10 and release date I'm not going to say anything. He's Tim and I have talked quite a bit. Um, he's looking to do maybe some fun stuff with it. So I hope I hope it all works out for him. But they're here, guys. They're here. Keep your eyes open. Link down in the description. TempestKnives.com. The pinions have arrived.
right on. Thank you so much, guys, for checking them out with me this morning. Or whenever you see them. Like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Till next time. I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Bye-bye.